Okay, Miss. Okay, Ron Rivera. Crap all over my theory about about the possibility of the Washington Commanders firing you. You. At least that's not going to happen. Happen this this week. But anyway. Uh. Yeah. You know. I only saw. I only saw a few a few highlights. Um. Of the game, and I don't plan on watching that particular game. I don't have time for losers. Um, so probably a good thing that it, it was on Amazon. Although Amazon did pay a, a shit ton of money uh, per ga per game and and per season for for th for the rights to the Thursday night football. I guess it's for I guess it's I I guess it's for the uh, for the other stuff that they feature. Anyway, week six. Let's get started because I don't have time for this fucking bullshit. Uh, Ravens going on the road to take on the New York Giants. Uh, the the Giants are four and one with uh, with Dan with Daniel Jones at at quarterback after the after the stunning victory over the Green Bay Packers. Um, yeah, the Gi uh, guess what? The uh, coach Brian Dable's real, doing a really good job. Of course, they travel back. They have, they officially travel back home to take on the Ravens. But the Ravens are the Ravens are uh, just got done finally winning a home game for the first time in uh, since last season. Um, go ahead and take the Ravens to defeat the the, the Giants. The Giants, though, I think the I think the Ravens are a better football team, but I I don't know. It's been it, the Giants have proven to be a good football team. Just saying. Uh, Jaguars going on the road to take on the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, congratulations, ja Jaguars! You lost to the Houston Texans at since at home. Uh, not only that, but you've uh, not only that, but you've have uh, decided to. Not let me take you seriously ever again this season. At least, at, at least until late in the season. And uh, not only that, you you have Charger fans now one wondering how the fuck did our team lose lose to the Jaguars in the fashion that we did. At least our team did. Whatever. And the Colts. Well, we all know we know how the Colts won. Won because everybody saw that. Everybody was was watching that game apparently, and that was a fucking shit show. Somebody had to win, and, and at this point, it was the Colts. So, uh, so congratulations to them. Um, and you know what? This this game's got the potential to be one of this. Uh, at, this this game has the potential to be the cr uh, the uh, cream of the crap for week uh, for week six. Although. Thursday night has been proven to be cream of the crap as well, as well on a, on a weekly basis. Uh, go ahead and take the Colts to get some uh, payback on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, Patriots going on the road to take on the Cleveland Browns. Ooh, tough loss! Tough loss for the Cleveland Browns. They had a chance to win, win twice in, in the final two minutes or whatever, final four minutes, minutes. But Jacoby Brissett once again throws a game-costing pick. And then the and then the rookie kicker misses a field goal. Stupid phone and the Patriots. Well, they didn't just beat the the Lions. They fucking humiliated them, D especially defensively. Zero zero points given up by the Patriots. And their and their quarterback playing with it, the game was a guy named Zappy or whatever or Zappe whatever the fuck you want to call his want to pronounce his last name I forget his first name and, but uh, yeah 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 uh, Bill Belichick's uh, de uh, defense uh, still has juice I guess um, a coin flip time but let me talk about the Browns the Browns their star quarterback just got hit. With another lawsuit, that and uh, and the twenty-four lawsuits were 
all, were already a deciding factor in the in, in, in this in the eleven game suspension. Of course, apparently the NFL apparently Deshaun Watson was also supposed to to make to uh to let to uh make sure that the NFL doesn't give them get doesn't <laughs> have any reason to suspend him for the entire season. This late this latest suspension. We'll have the NFL <laughs> uh, questioning that. But anyway, it's coin flip time. Yeah, tough situation. You might get jo they might get Jacoby Brissett for the entire season, which means the playoffs will most likely go by the wayside. So, and who knows what will happen in 2023? Tails yet. Take take the Patriots. Jacoby Brissett is is dog is a uh, refried dog shit, and the Patriots are going to make him into refried dog shit. Shit. Um, Bengals going on the road to take on the New Orleans Saints. Saints picking up a much needed victory over the Seattle Seahawks last Sunday. And now they're facing the defending AFC champions, who have been a major disappointment so far. Of course, it doesn't. Of course, it doesn't help that they have a have an overrated as fuck head coach in Zach Taylor, who just happened to be who just happened to have gotten the Super Bowl because of the talent that he had has in skill positions on offense and that awesome defensive line on defense. And they're facing and they're most likely facing Andy Dalton again. Man, both teams have kind of fucked me over. Two coin flips in a row. Interesting. Uh, Atlanta Tails take the the uh, take the uh, Bengals to defeat the New Orleans Saints. Though, <laughs> uh, Buccaneers going on the road to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Wow, what an ass kicking the the Steelers took against the the Buffalo Bills. Uh, there's a reason why Buffalo is the uh, is the a is the AFC favorite to win the Super Bowl. Um, Jesus Christ! And uh, and it me uh, yeah uh, tough uh, tough uh, tough game for. Uh, Kenny Pickett um, just happened to be his first. Just happened to be his first game, first start of his career, and it had to be against the Buffalo Bills. Ugh. That's a bit rough. That was a bit rough. Um, and now they're facing this. The and now he's facing this. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers defense. Granted, they're at home, but I don't like the Steelers' chances. Take the Buccaneers to win. Um, 49ers going on the road to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, the Falcons have the Falcons. Falcons got screwed last week. I mean, let, let's just call that for what it is. It is it is the officials obviously obviously blew it with that fucking pat with that rough in the passer penalty penalty? The, Jesus fucking Christ! The NFL wanted. These these defensive players to cuddle the quarterback in order to get him through the ground. They finally do it, and they still get flagged for it. Some people are gonna say they're, that they're just protecting their boy toy Tom Brady or whatever the fuck. I would suggest that it's that it's because of the Tua Tonga Vailoa hit, and it wasn't really a hit. It was actually a clean. It was actually a clean fucking sack. So I don't know why people are are shocked by this. They're more pissed off at the Dolphins. I understand that part. But this, but you know, they're they're just taking extra precautions because they don't know what the fuck to do anymore. Or, but that was a bit much. Uh, same goes for that Monday night game against the between the Chiefs and the Raiders. But anyway. As long as the stupid phone does stupid fucking retarded shit. There we go. Um, with that being said, though, the Falcons still suck. Okay, so it's not like it's not like <laughs> it's not like uh, winning the game was gonna help matters at all. 
Oh, so who gives a fuck about that? About this? Take the 49ers to defeat the Atlanta Falcons. Jets going on the road to take on the Green Bay Packers. Um, God, G God damn, uh, d <laughs> God damn, is Mike McCarthy back or something? Because holy shit, that was that was that was pathetic. I mean, Green Bay. I, now, somebody was saying that the Packers were playing down to their competition. One problem with that: both teams were three, were both the Giants and the Packers were three and one heading into that game. That's not playing down to your competition. Shit. I think people need to. I think people really need to start taking the Giants a little bit more seriously. This is not the same Giants that. This is not the same Joe Judge coached Giants. I hate to break it to you. I'm sorry. This team is legit. And the Jets. They still have a long way to go, but they but they could surprise some people with the playoff push late in the season. They might fail at it, but at least they'll finish with a 8-9 record, because I don't think they're there yet. As far as this game goes, the Jets are going to take advantage of, of the Green Bay Packers jet lag for a little while, but ultimately the Packers will win this game. Vikings going on the road to take on the Miami Dolphins. Uh, the Vikings were... Yeah, the, Vi uh, the Vikings have been interesting to say the least. Uh, they've uh, they're four and one. They just got done beat. They got done beating the Chicago Bears, um, and the Dolphins. They they were in a shit situation last week. But to be fair, though, I really should have taken the Jets. Jets, because even if Teddy Bridgewater was playing playing in that game, it would not have been effect. The, the the Dolphins' offense would not have been effective because Teddy Bridgewater is crap. Let's do, let's just call that for what it is. However, Tua Tungavailoa has been cleared to play, okay? and the the last full game he played was where was against the Buffalo Bills, where he had that where that injury began, where those uh, concussion where the concussion issues began, I guess. Um, and I know I'm going all over the fucking place, but uh, <laughs> whatever, just bear with me, please. I beg you. Um, and because of that, because I'm going all over the place, take the Miami Dolphins to defeat uh, the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, Panthers going on the road to take on the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, and yes, their their head coach got Matt Rule has gotten fired. Dave, uh, the owner Dave Tepper basically told him. You know what? I don't give a fuck if we owe you fifty million dollars or whatever, or sixty, or even a hundred million dollars. First off, I think he will care at that point. But, but the bottom line is, he basically said, "I, I don't care. Just take your forty million dollars, dollars, sip, uh, sip tea in your fucking house with your pinky up, up. I don't care. Get the fuck out of my building and get the fuck out of my franchise." So in his place is, so in Matt Rule's place is, is Cardinals failure Steve Wilkes. Oh boy. Rams, end of story. But I will, okay, forget the, before I say Rams, end of story. Story, even though I already did. Uh, the Rams have been a very disappointing team. And, uh, oh, they, they better get their offensive lines. Their left tackle situations uh, figured out, or or, or, what, or whatever the fuck, or they're all, and their offensive line issues figured out as well. Oh, take enough away from the Cowboys. They're obviously still a good football team. Cooper Rush is obviously do, do, making much better decisions than Dak Prescott's do, making. That, that that cannot be ignored. Ready? But still, the Ram, uh, but still, the Rams, Rams better figure it out. All right, now I'll say it. Rams, end of story. They better fucking win. Jesus fucking Christ. And speaking of the Cardinals, they go on the road to take on the Seattle Seahawks. 
Uh, Seattle's two and three, and I think the Cardinals are two and three as well. Oh, uh, they're they, they're this is their final game before uh, DeAndre Hopkins gets uh, comes back from suspension due to PEDs. Um, uh, the, yeah, the car yeah the Cardinals uh re re had a chance to uh, had a chance to well I forgot I forgot. Uh, Regardless, the Cardinals had a chance to do something with the field goal, and it missed. And all, and and because of that, the Eagles uh, won the game, and are still undefeated. Yeah, shock, shocker! I know, actually. Um, the Cardinals have always found a way to win in Seattle for whatever reason. But this is a weird fuck. But this is a yeah. The a the NFC West. Uh, for all intensive purposes, has been quite frankly the most disappointing division in, in the NFL. I mean, fell. However, at the same time, the Seahawks have kind of been a, have kind of been a surprise. Geno Smith has kind of been a surprise. I think everybody's showing a little bit too much love to Geno Smith, if I'm being quite honest with you. But with that being said, with that being said, at least. At least Geno Smith has found a system that wor that works for for him. Thanks to the co thanks to the Seattle Seahawks coaching staff. F. I'll just take the Seahawks. I'm not gonna call, I'm not gonna flip for, for this one. Fuck it. Uh, like I said, the Cardinals have been weird th this year. It's to be expected, though. All right. Uh, Bills going on the road to take on the Kansas City Chiefs. Most of the nation is going to be watching this game. Uh, Buffalo is proven to be is proven to be a legitimate football team. Team they did take their get foot off the gas pedal, which is to be expected when you're up thir uh, thirty one to three. Uh, you know, again, okay, you know, and Josh Allen doing uh, you know, Josh Allen do, uh, throwing the football down the field. Buffalo's defense. Led by Von Miller and uh, and that fucking middle linebacker, I keep forgetting his fucking name. You know, and of course, of course, Ed Oliver. Uh, that, of course, the of course the issue is one of their safe their star safeties is still done for the season. That might affect them in the long run. Who knows? But they still have but they still have a legit defense. Defense and the Chiefs. Wow, they. Wow, what a fucking game. Then again, it's the division game. So the bottom line is the Chiefs won and the Raiders lost. Lost. Period. Point blank. End of story. This one I will this one I do have to flip. Because Landed Tails. You know what? I think the uh, this is be so because of what happened last year with the Buffalo Bills winning in in KC in the regular season last year, I expect the Buffalo Bills to do it again this year. Hey, so be it if I'm wrong, but eh, whatever. Uh, Cowboys going on the road to take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Uh, this is basic. This game is basically for first place in the NFC East. The surprise division in the NFL this year. Then again, I shouldn't be that surprised if I'm being honest with you. With you, the uh, the, the the Cowboys are are, are still legit. Uh, not sure who's starting in this game, so uh, give me a minute. Okay, it's looking like uh, Cooper Rush is going to get the start for the for the Dallas Cowboys. So this should be this should be an interesting game. This should be actually be a good game. Uh, the Eagles still have issues scoring in the second half. Go figure. Here they're like dead last in scoring in the fourth quarter. That's quarter. Of course, of course that can be taken out of context because they do most of the scoring in the in in the first half. Or, Half or whatever the fuck, and they're deep, and they just clamp down and play deep, and they and they just clamp down and play defense in the set in 
in the second half. But even but the problem with that is they get they this t this defense is susceptible to to giving up points in the second half as well. So, ugh. one more coin flip. Landed tails again, but that was rigged though. That was fucking rigged though. It was, it was. Still landed tails. Okay. It landed tails, but. But. I gotta take. I gotta take the Philadelphia Eagles. I can't do it. I. Yeah, just can't do it. And finally, on ESPN. Primetime Football Monday. Broncos going on the road to take on the Los Angeles Chargers of San Diego. What a pathetic effort by the Broncos offense. I mean, Russell Wilson, uh, uh, Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson can't see the, uh, the middle of the field because of his height. I, I, I know it's kind of a, of a weak excuse, but, uh, but uh, he's tried it to throw... He's tried looking over the middle, and the problem with that is the linemen are not doing their jobs in uh, getting in getting low. And uh, I think most people are missing that part. So, part. And then the and the fucking uh, ca and the fucking uh, goddamn ca fucking goddamn and the yeah Broncos defense, in my opinion, is a tad bit overrated. Oh God, they just got and oh God, they just got Justin Simmons back from IR. Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, I don't know why people keep overhyping this guy. I, I don't understand it. <laughs> and it and uh, Brock Broncos are gonna have to do a much better job of keeping the ball on the ground, keeping everything's brown, uh, fucking up, and, and call and calling out uh, quicker pass plays because that's been the that, and even then Russell Wilson's like holding the ball a little longer than he should. On plays that are not that are not designed for a quarterback to, to hold the ball so, so long, but it but it is early. And, and here's the thing. Here's the thing. People. Here's the thing. People need to stop comparing the 2022 Broncos to the 2012 Broncos. Because holy crap, this is a this is just another one of those situations. Situations where they keep doing it. Well, the Broncos, they started 2-3 and three under Peyton Manning, and they finished 13-3. and three. So there's no reason why the Broncos can't finish, start 2-3 and three this year, this time around, and finish 14-3 and three the rest of the way. Wait, because of a 17-game schedule. That's, that's not how fucking shit works. I mean, and you had to... I mean, I don't... Listen, I'm not giving up on the... I'm not giving up on the hope of the Broncos making the playoffs. Playoffs, even though I don't, even though I'm not, even though I'm not, I don't like be, have, having a fake positive because that's just not me. But, but it is just, it is just five games, and I do think people will need to chill. I mean, I, I don't know what the fuck the I, I don't, I honestly don't understand what Broncos, what Broncos fans expected. Did they really expect them, the Broncos, to go? To, to get to 35 points with the new quarterback, new new head coach, new new coaching staff, new everything. I'm surprised. Now, granted, I'm a little surprised the defense has held up, but you know they've they, they've they've gotten they've gotten into trouble a few times. I mean, so you know it's not like the defense is playing that fucking great. As far as this, and then you got the Chargers. The only re ugh, fuck, I'll take the Chargers to win. Win, although the Chargers have do have have had a history of doing this. They have high expectations, and then they uh, and then they crash because they uh, get too over fucking confident. If they do, if the Broncos do win, though, I'll, I'll be surprised. I'll be surprised, but. But I think the chart. I will be surprised if the, if the Broncos win this game, game, whatever there. Um, but go ahead and take the LA Chargers uh, to defeat the Denver Broncos, and that's just how I see it. 
and uh, yeah, not m really much to say. So till next time, later, fuckers.